lazy, evil, this job's done. Oh, hi everyone. Just reading the paper and I was wondering about this text here. This has got justified text and designers spend a lot of time working out justified text and I thought what a great topic to have for my podcast. All about justified text in InDesign CS4. There's a little bit more to it than just flowing in some random text. So let's get into it and I'll show you a few of my favourite tips. Well, if you didn't know it already, InDesign is the best text layout engine bar none. And boy, have I got some fantastic tips for you if you're justifying text. As a matter of fact, um, we're going to start with some range left text here. So it's aligned on the left. And we're going to justify it so both columns and this text is going to look really cool. We're not going to use justification because a lot of designers, oh, sorry, we're not going to use hyphenation because a lot of designers don't really use hyphen, hyphens. They try and steer clear of those. So we're going to keep those off. We're just going to justify it and get the word spacing just right. And I'm going to show you a few little terms that designers might use as well to describe some of the spacing and, and whatnot throughout this video. So the first one is justify the text. We're in paragraph controls here. The, the shortcut is command shift J, or we can just go ahead and click that. And this brings up a couple of issues. While it may look okay to the lay person, this is not okay for design folk like you and I. Okay, first of all, there's problems with the gaps all over the place. We've got some tiny little mummy gaps up here and some really big wide daddy gaps down here. So this is the daddy space. This is the mummy space with the really high tiny voice. So we've got to try and fix these things up. Perhaps we'd just like to take out a smidgen. Now, in design terms, a smidgen is about two pixels. Okay, so that's about how much we want to take out of there. How do we do it? We use the justification settings. Now, you've got to come right up to the top right up here. Click this little pop-out menu and then come down to justification, which is just right down here. Hang on, there you go. Justification brings up the justification dialog box, which we are now, only now, going to have a look at. First of all, justified text is all done with word spacing. That's the default anyway. Okay, so we'll take out 80%, down to 80% of regular word space, put in 133. That's quite a bit. Hmm, what can we do about this? Well, why don't we use some of the letter spacing to fill up some of these gaps? This is how we can do it. Overall, globally, over the whole paragraph, we could say, let's take out 5% of that, and that might bring some words back up and save a line or two. And to fill up some of the gaps, we might put like a positive 5% in there, and that will fill up some of the gaps too. So already it's starting to look much better. <laughs> but what if we, I'm going to do something naughty here. Now, typographers, hold your breath because what I'm about to do, some of you may find offensive, and that is glyph scaling. I'm going to horizontally scale some of this text. Now, don't panic, don't switch off, please. Hear me out. We're only going to do it a tiny little bit, and sometimes when justifying text, it can be justified. I'm only going to take out 2%. I'm going to say it's okay to horizontally scale 98% and 102% if required. Now, some people will still disagree with that and feel free to put your comments in. I think it's all right. I've justified that text. It looks way better than it did before. Way better than it did before. Let's go into preview mode. But there's one last trick that I'd like to share with you and it's to do with hanging punctuation. So you can see down here I've got a comma right on the margin. I'd like to hang that out. This is a superpower mega tip just for you guys. Under the type menu, there is an option here called story. And under the story option, there is optical margin alignment. When switched on, 
will push hyphenation just ever so slightly out of that frame to make the text look better and that's what it's all about. Now we've got some pretty sweet looking text, fixed up the mummy and daddy gaps, everything looks pretty terrific. I think we've all learned something here today. That's it for another episode of Creative Suite TV. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter now at Creative Suite TV. That's right, out in the Twitterverse. Rock on, dudes. <laughs>